shift. A vision reoccurring like shadow puppets on a dusty mirror. Vera Marshall, the slain soothsayer of Santa Cruz, appears before me, like she always does, roosted on a nest of old newspapers and canned beans. She uncloaks an egg from her long, tattered sleeves. Then she squawks. Crack an egg on your head, let the yolk drip down, let the yolk drip down, let the yolk drip down. Crack an egg on your head, let the yolk drip down. And then I wake up. Thank you. 
I kill Vera Marshall? The thought lingers like a stone inside my shoe. My psychic tells me that there is a past life connection, but that I was a young boy here in 1948. That monkey around the Marshall Ranch, chasing chickens and helping the hobbled old widow with chores now and then. To me, she was like an eccentric old aunt. She would tell me how she hailed from royalty, how she had a great fortune waiting for her across the sea, far from her cobweb to cottage. Sometimes I'd rifle through the mountains of junk in the house, finding all sorts of coins and trinkets stashed in shoeboxes, purses, and socks. Unable to catch me because of her bum leg, she'd lure me back to the parlor with promises to tell my fortune about fantastic adventures leading to untold riches and true love. She'd tell me to fetch her an egg from the coop, then close my eyes and make a wish. Cackling, she'd cry, nosy little boys might find toys, but crooked legs break eggs and crack the yolk right on top of my head. I'd run home to my mother, crying all the way, and she'd tell me to stay away from old Miss Marshall. But I'd always be back in a few days. I'd always find her sitting in the same chair waiting for me. Until one day I didn't. Or so I imagined.